Good evening. Um, inspired by the good people of 2000 AD and Judge Dredd, Tat and Chat, whatever it's called, um, I've decided to rake into my attic and pull out all the boxes of comics I've had in there for 15 years, possibly 20 years, because I know they've sat there possibly turning into one solid lump of comic in the dampness. But I thought some of you might be quite interested to find out what's in there, because I know what some of it is. You don't know, but I don't know what some of it is. So, who's going to join me in my unboxing challenge? Well, you can stop recording. No, you can stop watching, that's it. Right, shall we have a go? Right, let's see what's in this box. It just says comics on the top. It also says magazine specials and revolver, so that's quite exciting. Um, I, thought I, I thought I lost all my revolvers. But, right, we've got slightly damp. 2000, Prog 2000, I didn't know I had that. That's good. Ooh, these look fun. Winter specials. So we've got a winter special there. What else is in here? Sci-fi special. Another sci-fi. Ooh, action special. I'd forgotten that one existed as well. That's all good. And there's more and more and more and more sci-fi specials. More. This looks, ooh, this looks going back a while. So that looks like an old one. Ooh, that's a good one. Sci-fi special, nice Boland's cover. Or is it Boland? Another Ron Smith one. Ah, I remember the Forbidden Planet ones. These are going back a while, aren't they? Ooh, Ian Gibson. Oh, oh I've forgotten about that one. I'm going to say that a lot. Sci-fi special with Tyranny Rex. That's good. I'm going to make a mess of this, but never mind. So that, and Judge Dredd the magazine. So that's number nine, eight, seven. First issue. Oh, there's two of them, and both were still with the badges attached. And well, that one's stuck on the back. Okay, that's the first nine of them. That's good. And some more. 20, 16. Al's baby. I like that. What else is in here? What's Mid and Face McNulty doing in the Judge Dread magazine? More Judge Dreads. Ooh, that's got a poster in it. I wonder what that was. I'll have to tidy the other properly. Another Judge Dread magazine. That's Young Death. Ooh, America. Yeah. So it looks like mostly Judge Dread magazines in here. <coughs> oh, hang on. Yeah, right down to number two. So that's a fair whack of them. I'm not sure how many. That many. Then we've got the revolver. Issues four, five, six, and seven. Hopefully the other three are in there somewhere. Uh, what's down the side? Ah, the rest of the revolvers. Star Wars and the Magic and Myth. What's that doing in there? And revolvers, one and two. That's good. More winter specials. Oh yeah. And another revolver. It looks like we've got all the revolvers. So that's, uh, that's quite exciting. And at the bottom of this box, <laughs> best of 2000 AD. Okay, issue 90 to 86 to 90. Judge Dredd magazine, number one, a different number one. A Marks and Spencer's catalogue, that's useful. More a Judge Dredd mega specials, quite a few of them. More Judge Dredd the magazine. Oh, yeah. First ever Judge Dredd Mega Special. I seem to remember that one being particularly good. Lovely cover, anyway. Well, good. I'm glad that these are uh, in better condition than I thought. I thought they'd be paper mache, but uh, well, that's got a nice badge in the front, that one. Interesting. Okay, good. Newspaper. Ooh, this one's got a jigsaw in the front. More Judge Dredd the Magazine with the jigsaw. That's just going... Big stack of them. Ah, yeah. Okay. Well, that's back box one. That was quite a good start. You still with me? I quite like that box. Right. What's in uh, What's in box two? Comics. Does it say anything? Best of two thousand eighties. Now this is the one I do remember because I, I remember having. I think it's up to about number one hundred and five. Could be wrong. My snow speeder. I thought I'd lost that. What a bonus. Excellent. 
animalisms. I don't even know what they are. And Winnie the Pooh's Little Book of Wisdom. Interesting. I'm very pleased about my snow speeder. Um, what's it here? Well, it says best for 2000 AD, so I assume that's what it is. Uh, up to number 79 there. Yeah, skiz. Uh, oh, 85, up to number 85. Ah, there's the. Uh, these are very terrible mitts. That's number one, which, as I recall, I thought would be a great idea to colour in with pencil. Which, not only did they make a rubbish job of it, and look at that, terrible. I mean, really. I suppose I was only 10, so give me a break. Uh, I obviously didn't get very far with it. So that's, uh, so I've got numbers one down to, well, <laughs> that's how many's in here. 64, got a whole stack of them. Ooh. I like that. Zarjaz, 63, with Steve Dillon on the back. It's number, up to number 56. They're not in any kind of order. Oh, there's a big old box on that's for sure. More! 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 It's going to take me a while to get through these, isn't it? And in the bottom, more is number seven, so I can't even pick them up. Um, uh, how's that? Right there. You can't even see the bottom there, so there's quite a few in there. I think about, as I say, about a hundred, I think. And a British gas bill. A British gas bill from uh, 1999. Good, that's come handy. Right, um, so that's quite cool. Pleased so far. Uh, let's see what's in this one. It also just says comics. Doesn't get any more clues? Nope, it just says comics. Right, let's see. I'll move back a bit, you might have a better look. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah. It's really skanky. There's a bit of steward and mingers in here. Ah. Right. Well, here's a some random issue. Oh yeah, my brother used to work for Commando Comic, and they would get all the the rival magazines. So he would bring me the old ones, um, which is probably what these are. So it'll probably be. It says it says Commando in the front. Now you can see that. So it's probably just a selection of random issues. I did sell, um, I had 2000 ADs from about ROG 200 to about 900 maybe more and I sold them all as a student because uh, I needed the money so I sold them all for 200 pounds uh, to the manager of Swede incidentally. So I regret that but 200 quid came in very handy as a, as a struggling, struggling art student who wanted to be a comic artist. Oh hang on! Two thousand ADs, or two thousand ADs. Uh, toxic. Excellent. I thought I'd lost these as well because I had an in an incident where my dad threw out a box of my comics, including all of, I think all crises and most deadlines. So I regretted that, but this seems to be all of the toxics. So I'm pleased about that. I forgot that existed. Yeah, there we go. Right down at number one, Martial Law. Splendid. There you go, it's a big stack of toxic scissors. What else is in here? More random frogs. Big stack of them. Oh, I thought I'd find my deadline. It's just an advert on the back. Of course it's. Uh, oh, this is in a bag. It's just more. 711. Okay, that must still got postcards on the front. That's a good one. I also had an original page of Glenn Dillon artwork which else got lost in the flitter. I was quite annoyed about that. And this is Howard the Mighty's database. Ooh, I can't remember what this is. It, uh, and it won't come out the bag either. Oh, is that with the collectors? Oh yeah, I've got all the the cards and stuff on the front. Oh, and the wallet! <laughs> nice! And this one, free with this prog. The database. Data chip storage bin. 
can't remember what that is. I'll have a look at that later on. Well, that's quite exciting. And so that's that box empty. So Toxics, Random Commando Progs, and some other bits and pieces. And finally, you'll be relieved to hear, <coughs> this is an old record storage box. It says on it, Charlie's War, Martial Law, and Complete Dread. So probably no big surprises in here. Ah, oh, and some speeder bikes. I thought I'd lost them as well. Uh, proper speeder bike. Oh yeah, there he goes. Oh, Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> right, what's in here? So we've got Martial Law. That's a good one. Ooh, issue 500. I think I got this signed by some people, but I can't remember who. <gasps> this is good. I seem to recall this innocuous piece of paper at the back. It is! A signed script by Alan Grant of a Tharg's Future Shock. The War Game. And... Ah! Glyn Dillon drawing! I thought I'd lost that as well. Fantastico! That's very exciting. Thanks for sharing this with me, people. I hope you're enjoying it. Well, you're obviously not enjoying it as much as I did. Now, I wonder why this is in a bag. Free Crisis poster. Oh, because I went to the launch of Crisis at um, Sci-Fi Bookshop. No. Yeah, in Edinburgh. And I got a poster signed by Pat Mills. I was scared I didn't turn up, unfortunately, it wasn't well. So this was also signed by Jim Bakey and John Smith. Yeah, some very faint writing there. That's good. Because I lost my crisis, which they also signed, but they signed the poster, so that's good. Good, good, good. Uh, anyway, let's see what's in here. A Batmobile, apparently. Uh, martial Law. More Martial Laws. Oh, the proper Martial Law graphic novel, now that's good. <gasps> oh, amazing! Oh. <laughs> Road Jaws uh, by Kev Walker. Yes. Sorry, Kev. Um, my memory's a bit rusty. Well, that's good. That's pleasing. We've also got Steed and Mrs. Peel, which I really enjoyed. That was uh, Grant Morrison and Ian Gibson. That was fun. And The Bogeyman, which I also loved. And again, I thought I'd lost. Um, so yeah, that's cool. And uh, what else? There's the wallet. That's my own one. I must have had a duplicate. And it's got my picture in it from back then. That's somebody at the door. Uh, better wrap it up. And finally, a folder of Charlie's War, stolen from the pages of uh, the Eagle, and a thing called Stuff. So that's a short story I wrote. Well, there you go. So that's going to keep you busy. I hope you've enjoyed the trail through my boxes. Um, I've made a terrible mess, uh, but I'm going to enjoy that. So, uh, cheerio. All the best.